I'm Lance Grand. I'm the Nagani Distinguished Service Curator at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. And I've been a curator there for 34 years, among other things. And uh, uh, I've written a book recently about curators and why they're important and what they do is interesting. And um, I'm hoping it'll engage people in the importance of curators and natural history museums in general. Well, some are from the Field Museum. In fact, most are from the Field Museum, but um, there's a few historical uh, pieces from both within the museum and outside. There are um, a few stories even outside of museums. It's basically built around an autobiographical core of my own life as a, as a curator, but it's by no means just an autobiography. It's, that's just used to connect all these different stories and give me some cohesive way to explain what curators do and what drives them. Ah, well, follow your passion, you know. If you're going to live a long time and you're going to be doing what you're doing for a long time and uh, it helps a lot to uh, really like what you're doing because then you can really work your tail off and it won't seem like cruel and unusual punishment. I don't think it can hurt it because, you know, it does, actually, it's legitimate in the sense that people that go into this profession are generally passionate about what they do. And it's that passionate curiosity that drives science in the end. Um, you know, we talk a lot about applied research in, uh, in C2SD, for example, but it's basic research that starts it all. And generally, basic research comes um, from people who just have a passionate desire to explore, to explore and research things and discover. And uh, that's, what, that's what makes a successful curator, is somebody that has that drive and then follows through um, to uh, use that drive to accomplish something.